What have we here? Ah, oh, the worm. Frank, you there? What's going on? Uh, a little busy, but the cliff notes are that colder assholes got our big scoop and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? I don't recall authorizing your press pass. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Parley zombies them into some kind of immortality treatment. You're trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first... The client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. You plan to make soldiers, are you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. You're out of your mind. You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, unskilled labor exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, and who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. You're wasting my time! You think you're scary? <laughs> <laughs> Obscurus had what I needed, so Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was, well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades of gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever, because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's the punchline. 